Reflect now integrates with an app called Readwise. If you've never used Readwise before, it's a very cool tool that lets you save highlights and notes from your ebook readings, from articles you find online, maybe from saved or bookmarked tweets, and a bunch of other stuff. I am particularly excited about this integration into Reflect because it lets you not only import all of these things into your notes, but it also has recurring reminders for these insights so that you don't forget about them. And I myself am quite famous for saving tweets and then never looking at them again, which is not very useful. So I wanted to do a little bit of a video to go through and show what some of this looks like and a couple of the different things you can do with it. So to start with, create an account. You can do this on a trial. Uh, you can see for this demo video, I'm currently on a free trial plan. Go to connect and sync and import highlights. Up top here, you're going to see the apps that I already have connected. So it's just Kindle and Twitter. The Readwise reader comes automatically connected. And down below, we've got the connect and sync. These are the ones I have not yet connected. So you can go through, look for any apps that you use, but you can see there's a bunch of cool stuff in here. You can sync highlights from podcasts while you're listening. You can even take a photo of a physical book page and highlight the text and import it. So again, lots of cool stuff, connect anything you use. And once you've done that, go to the export highlights section. And same thing, I've already connected the Reflect app here. So you'll see it in the top. But if you haven't connected it yet, it will appear down below with the others. And once you have given access, go to the configure page. And here, this is just where you're going to tell it what to move over to Reflect. So uh, I've got my test graph selected for this demo video. Uh, if you want it to automatically export all future things you save, you can select this. Include highlight locations. Yeah, I want to do that. And uh, again, for this demo video, I'm going to select which items need to be exported. So then here you'll see a list of tweets that I have, probably some Kindle books. There we go. Some that I have saved. Um, so you can just kind of select whatever ones you want to import if you only want to do some. Or I would probably recommend to do all of them if you have a full Readwise account, because then within your reflect notes, you'll be able to say, search any of your saved tweets and readings and whatnot, which I think is super cool. So to do a little example here, let me select tweets from reflect. I recently started one for this example and going to my test graph. So now I will start the export. Cool. Exported two new highlights to one note. And I think I had already exported a reflect one. So that's why it says two, but going back over to my reflect notes. Perfect. Be it here in my daily note. We will open this. And cool. It's got where it came from. Readwise, it's a tweet. It's got the URL. Uh, and oh, I misspoke earlier. It does have two tweets in here. So I guess I didn't import the other one previously. Um, so now it will have a, a running thread of my highlights. So if I save any feature highlights from Reflect, it will just add it to this highlight thread here. And so you can see how useful this is, where you not only have a database of everything you've saved, but then you can have these recurring reminders pop up that gives you the insights you've collected previously so that you don't ever forget what you've saved. 